This isn't the demo, right? Did I did I load up the demo? Oh no, no, it's the full game. Okay. Ooh. This is an interesting little op here. Dude, I love this song so re so far. It's so wholesome. Holy shit! They gave us a whole anime op. Oh, damn! That's so pretty! Damn! This is so well done! I didn't expect an anime intro to the game! I love this so much! It's so wholesome and gay! I love it! Ooh, spooky blood moon. Dude, this is awesome! It's so well animated, too! Oh no! Oh shit! Well, I didn't expect this at all! Yeah, this was not in the demo. Damn, we got treated. Well, okay then. That was lovely. Yeah, I, I did not expect that at all. Little goody two shoes. <laughs> All right. Hold on here, guys. For some reason, it is taking up all three of my monitors. So this is not, uh, not exactly what I was hoping would happen. Oh, good Lord. Why is it taking up all three of my monitors? Guys, I have an issue here. Oh, no. Um, I need to, like, find the settings here. Hold on. I have th It's on three of my monitors right now. Oh, God. Oh, no. That animation was smooth. But the fucking thing is on all three of my monitors, so I'm having a bit of an issue. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Uh, graphics. Um, we want windowed, yes. Oh, shit. Well, that explains it. Uh, where's 1440? Is there no 1440? Let's try this. Um... Borderless, maybe? Oh, there we go. Fuck. Finally, it's not on all three of my monitors. Okay, we're good. I can see. I can play the game now. No! No! What did I do? Oh, God. Oh, no. It's on all three of my monitors again. <laughs> Graphics. Borderless. And this one, probably. Keep these settings, yes, okay, thank fuck. Okay, we're good, woo! We're good. We're not good. It went back to all three of my monitors again. Oh my god, why is this being like this? Hold on. Okay, see, that's good. Keep these settings. We'll default to previous values in 10 seconds. Keep these settings. I do not want... Yes, save these settings. Okay, we did it! Woo! We did it! We can play now. Alright, here we go. Little goody two-shoes. 
I've been so looking forward to this game coming out. Astral Shift. Once upon a time, in the heart of a realm, uh, an elderly woman ventured deep into the woods in search of mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. When all of a sudden, she heard uh, screaming. Yeah, my goodness. Oh my. It was a child. Cradled inside a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. Oh my, what do I do? Worry not, my dear. I'll name you Elise. And so Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of uh, Keffelberg. Yeah. Oh no, she's all tangled up. As both grew closer, so did their love for one another. Look, Granny, look. A carrot. Foo, foo, foo. Well done, Elise. <laughs> Not all bliss lasts forever, and as time went by... Oh, those cookies look so good. So did Holly's. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Granny. Don't cry, my love. You've always said you wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it, foo foo foo. It is very pretty, full. Granny, no! And then she died. I love you, Elise. <laughs> now she dead. <laughs> Thank you, Granny, for my only wish. And now she dead. For good this time, right? She dead, yeah. Oh, that was a little bit demonic. I don't think I noticed that last time when we played the demo. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. Oh, it's... There we go. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Sweep my floors, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. Oh, I'd show them. I'd make them scrub my pots and pans. My shoes, even. Have them wipe down all my windows, every last one. Clean out my hearth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Oh, if only I were rich. All the steak I could ever want. All shiny dresses. Yeah, honestly, this girl, like, takes after my own heart. I love steak. I would, I would love to have all the steak that I'd ever want. And all the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week with shoes and jewels to match. Hell yeah. And maids. All the maids I could ever want. Yeah, let's have a fucking harem of maids. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elise! Oh, for goodness sake. It's the town folk. On your way home, lass. What are you doing wandering about in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wandering about, Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. 
Come now, Elise. We've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance for what? What am I to be afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? I believe I'll just be fine on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more detours, Elise. It's for your own good. Lest I come across the witch, I know. Let us hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. Yeah, let me go home, you old fucks. Oh, I can't stand these folks. Alright, let's go home. I fucking love this game, dude. I never thought I'd be into this type of game, but I've actually grown to love this type. The demo really sold me on this game, I'm not gonna lie. And I love the art style, it's so good. I love how I already know where to go to go home. <laughs> As I played the demo. <laughs> oh, shiny. Item. Acquired one times grapes. I got some grapes, I see. I really love this place right here with the grapes. It looks pretty. No, oh, what's going on? Oh, for goodness sake. It's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. Oh, there's the save bird. Hello, save bird. I'm here to save. Let's go ahead and save. Sweet. Okay, let's go home. What in the Lord's name? What in the Lord's name happened here? I ought to find my matches. Yeah, the matches were upstairs. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. I forgot this was a thing. Oh my god. What? What was that thing? Was I dreaming or... What was I thinking leaving it here? Alright, we got our tinder box. I ought to light the fire now. All right, let's go light the fire. We got a broom. Goodness gracious, what happened here? Good grief. What if it was the witch the townsfolk have been going on about? No, keep it together, Elise. It was definitely a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. Well, we got the broom already. It's no use going in the pantry, is it? There's nothing to eat in this house. Yeah. All right. Well, he's down here again. Oh, yeah, this is where we can grow crops. I forgot about that. I forgot it had, like, a little bit of a Stardew Valley vibe to it. It's nice that we can grow our own crops. 
It's gonna help us kept, keep us fed. Ah, the town of Keffelberg. I could go call for help, but no, not a chance. I'll deal with this mess myself. Keffelberg's rooftops decorate the rolling hills far off into the distance. Alright, let's go in here. <gasps> I wonder who it could be. It's the witch! It's the witch! Huh? There you are. Shameless thief. With it. Give me back all you took. Uh, right? Hurry it up. Now! <gasps> Wait, please. Please forgive me. Give me back the stuff you took! Explain yourself, you wretch! What were you doing in my house? <laughs> Wait, please don't hit me. I was just hiding. There was these men, and I... I won't ask you a second time, thief. Give me back everything you took right now. I didn't take anything. I was just scared. Please, I beg you. <laughs> Show me your hands. Oh, but I... I didn't take anything, ma'am. <clears throat> now, show me your pockets and make it quick. I keep telling you I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Two shiny rocks, two coins, and some lavender. Okay, you're, you're, you're pretty bad off. Coins and weeds? What are you doing up here in the mountains? Oh, that's... I'm a traveler, ma'am. Huh? Turn around. You say you're a traveler, are you? All by yourself. Yes. Yes, I'm traveling alone. I hope I could rest for the night in this village, but I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still... Oh, please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Would you stop calling me that? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. All right, well, I might let you go if you can prove your innocence, that is. Oh, that's... I, I don't know what else I can do, ma'am. Huh. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can... I'm sorry. Ma'am? I did it! Yes, that's it. I obeyed! All right. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. Sorry, I... I, I ma'am... <laughs> complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree this is the last... least you can do? Yes. Of, of course. I'll gladly do it, ma'am. <laughs> Good. In exchange, I'll suppose you can stay here. But no m more thieving. Huh. I'm not a thief, ma'am. Huh. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? It does sound fair, ma'am, and it is very kind of you, but I'm not a thief. Uh. Fine, you're not a thief. Now... Would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? Uh, I'm sorry. You, you don't. I apologize. All right. My name is Elise, and you'd best remember it. Uh, yes. Ah, yes. I'm sorry I forgot to introduce myself. Rosa Marine, Selenic Wanderer. 
My name is Rosa Marine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. For goodness sake. For goodness sake, just Elise is fine. Come now, you have a lot of work to do. Yes, yes of course. I think Rosa Marine is cute. She is very wholesome. She was just scared. Alrighty then, let's get back to the house and put her to work. Okay. How could you even do all of this? Look at my floors! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Even Granny's plates shattered to pieces. What are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. Mm. All right, well. You know what you did. Anyway. Anyhow, here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney. Chimney. And clean out the fireplace, too. Oh, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all of my windows. Right. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow. Understood? Uh, of course. Of course, ma'am. For goodness sake. And I told you to quit calling me that. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Come now. Let me show you to the well out the back. Oh, but I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Dare to cross me even once, and I'll be having a word with the townsfolk. You hear? Are we clear? Yes, Elise. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'll I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday mass to attend to tomorrow. Mm. I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elise. All right, let's go to bed. This is actually a really fun game. I never, like I said, never thought I'd get into, like, this type of game. But after playing the demo for it, I really, I really did enjoy it. Now, you've done it, Elise. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous, or worse, even? What if she, she's the witch the town folks have been talking about? Oh, what would Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell on her, too. What's done is done, I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Okay. It's morning already. I can't be late for Sunday Mass or Father Hands will... <gasps> Good grief, what was I thinking? She's probably taken everything I own by now. Wow, she actually cleaned the place. Oh. Or maybe not. Hmm. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey. Rosa Marine! Rosa Marine! Was that her name? I can't believe she tidied up and just left like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night, the poor thing. Uh. Now, where could she have gotten to? Hmm. 
Well, she's probably out back. We told her to go to the well. Oh yeah, she's not in the well. Weathered by time, the well's wooden structure stands frayed and worn. Oh yeah, there's a sprint in this game. I forgot about that. Alright, she's definitely in here. Rosa Marine! Rosa Marine! For goodness sake. There you are. Elise. Elise. <sighs> Honestly. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind. Come with me now. Are you taking me to the village? Who do you take me for, some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I... I didn't mean to be such a brute, truth be told. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did, too. For goodness sake. I got it. All of that's dead and buried. Now, come. I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Yes. Yes. The art is so good. I know, Recro. I love it. It's, it's, it's like one of my favorite art styles. I'm not going to lie. It's like old school anime, but new. <laughs> and I love it. It really gives those old school anime vibes. Flock. 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 I forgot about Flock! It's the cute little lamb! Ah, it's so cute! I forgot about him! Fluffy companion, Flock. He's so cute! He's so cute! Though. I love him! Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. Oh, it's so adorable. Where have you been? You know this goat. Yes, of course. We met on the way to Keffelberg, where we've been together ever since. <laughs> yes, we were, we were... Oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? The cuddliest little thing, you say? Anyway. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, Flock. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. I kept up... It, it kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd... Oh, I get it already. No need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be very hungry. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, Elise. You really are too kind. For goodness sake. Good grief. You do remember I hit you you do remember I hit you with a broom last last night, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's exactly what that said. Yeah, totally. Called you a thief and made you do my bidding and whatnot. Most folks would have tossed me right out the moment they found me, but you didn't. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out. All right. Don't wander about, and don't make a mess. Uh, of I won't, Elise. Ahem. <clears throat> Pursue your love interests. Talk to your favorite girl when you see a heart above her head. To schedule a romantic date for later. Hello. Ah, before you go, Elise. Hmm? I have something to tell you if you could come meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Ah, uh, well, it's important, so I'll be in the back by nightfall. All right? For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear. 
Ah, uh, I promised it's nothing bad. Well, see about that. Oh, thank you for the posture check. The stretch and the hydrate. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll stretch. <sighs> I'm posture checking. And I'll drink some coffee. Thank you, I appreciate that. Ah. I'm not so certain it's a good idea to leave like this, but... Is everything all right, Elise? You be good while I'm gone, you hear? Of course. She's so cute. Okay, this is gonna be our last... main save. Because from here, there are multiple branching paths, and I wanna make sure that I have a save for each path. And I learned this during the demo, and this is where things are going to be different, and I don't know what's past most of this. So I know a little bit, but I don't know much. Um, I know probably about another half hour of the game, but yeah, there's going to be branching paths, and I want to make sure that I have multiple saves. So this is going to be my last main save. Okay, 26 minutes in. I'll have to remember that. Okay. Oh, hey, I got mail. Would you like to revisit the game's tutorials? Uh, no, I'm fine. Wait, there's eyes in that tree. There's fucking eyes in that tree. <laughs> I did not notice that before. Can I, like, interact with it? You know, I see you, right? I see you hiding in my tree. You come out this instant. I demand it. I guess it's not gonna come out. Is there anything over here? Mm, just mushrooms. Okay, well, let's head on to, into town. Whether or not keep the church waiting. I'll get an earful from Father Hands if I don't hurry up. Unlocked map menu. Grapevine Pass. The Creek. Crossroads. Village Entrance. Village Square. Okay, it's just all the- it's, it's the whole map. Alright, well, let's get going. We definitely do not want to keep the church waiting. They'll brand me a heretic. I think this was the way. Pretty sure this was the way. There you are, Elise. Oh, it's Gretel, it's the granny! Hello, Gretel. Come here, why don't you? This little old lady. Good day, Granny Gretel. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Han hands off my back. I have some fresh buns. They'll cheer you right up. Why don't you take a look? I love the little granny here. I'm gonna move out of the way for this. I'll come over here. The way she just like popped up. Oh my god, it's so cute. Looking cheeky again today, dearie. Um, I guess I'll buy. Mm. I'll buy some bread. Thanks, Granny Gretel. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? Uh, I kinda don't have any more money, Granny. Tell me if you need anything else, dearie. She's a little old lady. She's literally just a little old lady. It's kind of funny. So, this is the shop. Also, there's a little kitty cat here, and a little kitty cat by the Granny. 
Alright, let's go. Chicken! Goats! More chicken! More goats! Um, yeah. Okay. Ah, yes. We are in town. Man, this place is looking kind of messed up. Might be best to seal our windows and doors, old Wilhelm. Just in case. Ah, there she is. Alive and kicking. Made it home all right last evening, I see. I did indeed, Mr. Bernhard. More importantly, what happened here? That dreaded windstorm, that's what happened? I suppose you didn't have it as bad up in the mountains. I certainly didn't, but by the looks of it... Oh, it was a slight... It was, it, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Tongue twisted. Oh, it was a slight. You wouldn't believe... Uh, why am I saying slight? It's a sight. Oh, it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass. Branches and leaves piled up high against folks' doors. Entire treetops, some of them. Surely, that's a bit of an exaggeration. The alleys took a beating, that's for certain. Some say they heard the wind knocking at their doors. Old Jockin says it might have been the witch herself, but... Oh, here we go again. You can never be too certain, lass. Anyhow, I'll be heading inside now, folks. Let's hope for a better night's sleep this evening. May the Lord hear you, Wilhelm. Everything's alright, Miss Linda. Oh, Elise, would you take a look at my poor flowers? That windstorm nearly uprooted all of them from their posts, spots. Both spots, whatever. Was it really that big of a storm? It was only a little windy up in the peaks. Why, you've seen all of these branches scattered about town. I heard Brun Brunhilde's roof nearly came off. Oh, it was so frightening, I suppose. It'd be pretty frightening if your roof came off. And these are like medieval houses, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were built pretty shitty. Good evening. Good good seeing you, Elise. Oh, it must have been even worse up in the mountains. It wasn't that bad, believe it or not. Ah, oh, that's such a relief. I'm afraid we weren't as lucky, sadly. Oh, I do hope nobody was hurt. We can thank both the Lord and Saint Walperga. Nobody was was. Nobody was, but many of the townsfolk got their windows shattered. And their roof tiles blown off. What about Mr. Heinrich? Oh, it was awful. Our windows shutters were ripped right off their hinges. It'll take all day to tidy up and fix everything. That's all right, dearest. The sooner we get to it, the sooner it'll be done. I can lend a hand if you'd like me to, Miss Irene. Oh, that's all right, Elise. Come now, you two, we'd best get inside. I wonder if there's any more stuff down here. I didn't really check down here when I was doing the tutorial, so... Well, the first part of it, at least. Oh, what's this? Mr. Wilhelm's been keeping himself busy, it seems. Covered in dents and scratches, the anvil's smooth surface glistens in the sunlight. I wish I could pat the kitty cat. I want to pat the kitty cat. Okay, uh, we can't go down there. Doggy. Look at how cute the doggy is. Look at him. He is so cute. Okay, I better save here. Because this will be another save that I can have just before we get the diverging paths. So I'll save over this one again. Okay, here we go. Let's go inside to the church. Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. Good morning to you too, Miss Bertha. Oh, 
I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elise. Why wouldn't I, Miss Audley? My, Elise, you do look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Not at all. It seems you folks had it worse than I did. My, now that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary, ordinary windstorm, I tell you. How so, Audley? Oh, I've... Oh, I've about had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland. That's what. Oh, Audley, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You see, M M M Marily, all I can see is we're running late for mass. Goodness, what has Keffelberg come to? After you, Elise. The woodland, huh? Maybe that's where the witch is! <laughs> It's Freya! Good morning, Elise. Freya's got a be beautiful dress. Like, an actual beautiful dress. I think that's cute. I'd, I'd wear something like that if it was, like, old-timey days. I I'd, I'd still like Ali to wear, like, Elise's dress IRL if it was old-timey days, though, too. I like both of their dresses. I like all the ladies' dresses in this. They're so good. They're so well designed. I wish I could wear something like that sometimes. Elise, how are you always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, me neither, and all because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see. Sniffing it helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Shh! Keep it quiet, you two! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. We'd best focus now, Elise. You're the one wittering on, Freya. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed Saint Walpurga take heed of our prayers. Amen. This Saturday, we once again be celebrating our patroness, Saint Walpurga. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing, clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Let us trust St. Walpurga to guide our peoples and the keep of Kiffelberg out of harm's way. <sighs> May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. Blah, church stuff. Blah. I love the design of the moon on the uh, astral chart here. It's cool. <laughs> Leb Kirkin, took took you all you had to get out of bed this morning. I'd wager. It's the nun lady, sugary devotee, Leb Kirkin. Very funny, Aleb Kirkin. I almost said Elise. <laughs> Jokes aside, Elise. Don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord doesn't care, uh, couldn't care less, so why should you? 
Why does she want me to take my apron off? That's kind of sus, Lev Kirkin. You're riling me up on purpose again, huh, Leb? Can you tell? Oh, for goodness sake. I'd best get to work now, before it gets late. Don't forget to come about later, Elise. I won't, I won't. Unlocked relationship menu. Okay. Alright, let's talk to Lebkirken. Actually, if I don't make plans with her, then she can't be disappointed in me. Ha 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 Big brain! Tasks available. We best stand word to Premeldorf. We best send word to Premeldorf before. Ah, Elise, didn't see you there. Send word to Primeldorf, Mr. Gustav. We're having folks from Primeldorf lend a hand with the festival this year. Elise. I've heard the windstorm wasn't as bad up there in the mountains last. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. She was. You ought to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elise. Certainly, Father. <sighs> Hard at work, even on Sunday, are you? When aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. You let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav, thank you. Uh, I kind of don't want to riz up the nun right now. Hold on. No wonder Father Hans is such a miserable wretch. I would be too if I had to read this gibberish all day. Father Hans, holy scriptures rest upon the altar, each page scrawled with annotations. <laughs> Dude, I, I like Elise. She is a woman of my own heart. Alright, let's talk to her. Leb Kirkin, couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, Leb Kirkin. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. Damn, she risen me up with pretzels? Hell yeah, thank you, Leb Kirkin. Oh, you brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernhard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you Miss Elma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernhard was fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernhard can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I, heard I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Leb. What's this? Oh, this thing. Mysterious note. There's something written on here. Um... Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified by thy name. May thy be everlasting and thy grace all embracing. Quenched thou shall be on this Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find you restful place. May it find its restful place in thy life bearing grove. A prayer. There's something else at the bottom. Kethelberg's offering lies in the crossroads beyond the Maypole. May thy thirst be quenched by thy blessings received. In the crossroads? I wonder who dropped this. Yeah, this is fucking creepy. That's some demonic shit written on the back of it. I don't know what that symbol was, but it just gives off a dark aurora. Alright, let's leave the church. Uh, I think I gotta go this way.
Thank you.